Hello, it's Shannon at Stampin' Buds, and today we are going to create a super cute autumn layout. I'm going to start by grabbing a photo mat, scarlet ink pad, and a sentiment stamp. This will help me get the best placement possible for my sentiment before I bring in my next image, which is a sunflower stamp that I will randomly stamp around my photo mat and my sentiment. Make sure that as you're stamping that you are stamping off of the page to give a little bit of flow to your layout. Then I'm going to grab the small sunflower and I'm going to fill in the spaces in between the big sunflowers. Next you will grab your mocha ink pad and give it a squeeze so that it transfers some ink onto the lid. Using a water brush you will Squeeze a little water into the lid, then start firmly tapping the edge of your water brush so that it sprays a little bit of ink splatter onto your layout. To clean your water brush, all you need to do is drag your bristles across a scratch piece of paper until it runs clean. The great thing about close to my heart pattern paper is that when you tear it, it will expose the white inner core. This is also the same with close to my heart cardstock. Next, let's bring in the biggest piece of pattern paper and we are going to put this piece on the left side of the page, followed by the pattern paper that we previously tore. Then we will bring in the mat that will be underneath our photo mat and you will want to butt the right edge up against the sentiment. Bring in the photo mat and center it on the previous piece before bringing in the coordinating stickers for this page. While there is an anti-static pouch that you can purchase to take the stickiness off stickers, I just find that using my arm is way easier and a lot less messy. As you can see, I've started adding some 3D foam tape. And because I do not have a photo down yet, I am only going to select a couple of the pieces that I put on the back of the sticker. This way I'm able to tuck a photo underneath when I'm ready. I am also selecting a sunflower sticker and a tiny maple leaf sticker. Next, let's create a banner in the upper left corner of our page. You will want to take some of the stickiness off of these stickers because then you're able to place them directly on your page to see exactly the angle you will want to make them. As I'm putting the 3D foam tape down, I will put the banner in its proper place. Next, it's embellishment time, and these cork shapes are super fun to work with. The best way that I have found to get the backing off of these cork shapes is by using something pokey, such as a paper piercer. To complete the left page of this layout, simply add your photo. Next, we will start in on the right page assembly. You will do everything you did on the first page, but you will do it where your stamping is on the left side of the page and your large pattern piece of paper is on the right. We will then add photo mats in the center of the page, leaving about an eighth of an inch between all the photos. Next, we are going to bring back in some of the coordinating stickers and decorate the page with some of them using 3D foam tape. Remember, when you are placing the 3D foam tape down, you will want to be mindful of which pieces you will want to remove the backing from because if you haven't placed a photo onto your layout yet, it will become harder later to try and remove this piece from the photo. Next, we are bringing in those cute cork shape embellishments again. And it's up to you if you want to take the vein out of the little leaf, but I prefer just to leave it in because it adds such detail. If you would like more information on how you can receive the directions for this layout plus two others, please be sure to visit my Stampin' Buds blog. Have questions about anything you've seen here today? Please let me know by leaving your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be the first to see my new videos as they appear.